Hey there, Splicers. In this four minute tutorial, we'll learn everything we need to know about how to create your very first video. To start, let's tap the new project button and choose the clips and photos that we want to edit. Then tap next. Hmm, let's give this project a name and make sure to check animated photos. We can also choose an aspect ratio. Let's go for Instagram story and tap create. Okay, now we can start. Let's preview the video and see how it looks. All right, so there's a lot we can do to make it better, but first let's learn how to navigate the timeline. With basic gestures, we can move back and forth at any point of our video or pinch to see more of the timeline. Now, let's add some music by tapping the music button. From here, we can import music from iTunes or pick a song from the Splice Music Library. Let's choose a genre and preview a few tracks. This one's nice. Let's add it. Yeah, I think it works. Let's see. Maybe we should also reshuffle these clips. Let's have this one show up first. So to reorder a clip, we long press on it and then drag it right at the beginning of the timeline. Perfect. And maybe this clip lasts a bit too long. Let's trim it. To do so, we simply tap it and drag the right handle to make it shorter. Right here. We can do the same thing to adjust the in and out points of the other clips as well as the duration of our photos. Great, now the video looks much more dynamic. Actually, we could probably get rid of this photo. Let's do the double tap so we can access the shortcut menu and delete it. Tapping the media button, we can add more content to our project at any time. Now let's make our video even better. Tapping this button between each clip, we can choose from a variety of transitions. This one looks good. Also, if we tap this button below, we can easily apply the same transition to all our clips. Super convenient. All right, let's make a couple more adjustments. We can double tap here to split this clip and then we press the speed button to slow down this a bit and create a really cool and dramatic effect. Okay, we're almost done. Let's just trim the music to match the video's length. And finally, let's add some text. We'll place it down here. Cool, I think we're ready to export. To do that, we'll tap on the share icon in the top right and save it. Now the video is stored in your phone's gallery. We can also share it directly on our favorite social media. There's so much more you can do with Splice. Just make sure to check out the other tutorials to learn more about our advanced features. Good luck with your first project and see you on Splice.